welcome back guys it's your boy Rodney here with another episode of entry Thursdays it's a little bit late this week only because I had a COVID scare thank God everything went well I am negative so I am back here to help you guys out on the charts okay so I'm gonna break down how I actually uh, got tagged out of one of these moves and I actually was sleeping when the other move played out this week but I'll show you how you could have taken advantage of it and you know what's happening so based on the charts here as we was looking on USD JPY from last week you guys can see that you know we were in a downtrend and we are making a pullback here to continue the uptrend on USD JPY okay so I'm gonna break it down and show you guys here you know how you know you could have taken advantage of the possible moves in the market okay so at one point in time right you know last week when I showed you guys this uptrend USD JPY started to pull back so what I did what I then did right I seen that hey you know it was somewhere around here this support level right here got broken okay once that support level got broken my antennas went up meaning that now I'm looking for a possible opportunity to enter in the market okay now I did enter on this position here and I actually got taken out by this wick because my stop loss was a little bit too short I entered this very late night and I wasn't risking a lot because I know I was going to sleep so I set the stop loss stop loss really short however it got hit and I got tagged out to move and as you guys can see this thing just bled out and you know because I already missed the move I was in chance in it because I know it was a counter trend trade and it was just coming back it was pulling back to retrace so I you know I was more of a going with a trend trade than you know counter trending after I missed the first opportunity okay but I'm going to show you guys that you could have gotten in on other opportunities but it would have been a lot riskier okay so at that point in time when this level of support here got broken right it came up and retested this guys is your entry opportunity right here okay so what I did when I was getting in I went short and I think I got in like somewhere after this candle right here and I was like you know I'm gonna take the risk I'm going to sleep soon and I was like you know what I'm gonna put like a I think it was lower it was I think it was after this one here yeah after that couldn't have been after that yeah it was it was like a it was like a 10 pip stop loss and I got tagged out because of it and um, you know I seen this candle forming. I was like you know I'm tired I'm going to sleep and when I woke up I see that it was somewhere around here and you know I was taken out of the trade but as you guys can see you know understanding what's happening in the market and knowing that this level of support was broken and it retested this was your opportunity to get in on the market and as you guys can see you're risking 10 pips and the payout on this was great it was let's go ahead and drag this all the way down so the total payout on this here was hundred and thirty five pips so hundred and thirty five pip payout I would have probably waited until it came up and took probably about 115 pips if I held this trade but like I said I got tagged out you know I was on a smaller lot size because I was going to sleep and I didn't want to take that that chance but you know as you guys can see I'm going to be marking off the levels here as you go down so as you take advantage of the sell opportunity you know that it's a counter trend because you're looking on the higher time frame and you know that USD JPY is pulling back so I'm gonna mark off the resistance levels here that it's making as it's going down okay and as you guys can see the last resistance level that I marked off here when that resistance level was broken this downtrend was then then um, forfeited and now we're going back on the uptrend and as you guys can see it broke this resistance level here came up stopped at the second resistance level and it's very important when you know you're going down or you're keeping you know um, you know the most recent you know structure coming down you know to to keep it marked up on the charts because as you guys can see here it came back retested rejected came back down to this resistance level that it broke so the market tests areas that it tests before so if you can understand what's going on in these times you know and what's taking place on the charts you could possibly take advantage of these moves and make some killing off of it okay so um as you guys can see when it broke here I was waiting for the retest you guys could have went in on the lower time frames as well and seeing that you know this pullback that it was making it broke another support level again and once it broke that support level it was pulling back this was another trade that you could take advantage of 
you know, you could risk 13 pips for 46 pips. That's a good risk to reward ratio. You at least want to be risking one and getting back two. Sometimes it's going to, you're going to risk one and you're going to get back five or even more, you know, but you got to manage the risk. That is very, very important and very crucial to the growth of your account. Um, if you guys want more information about that, I'm dropping a course soon, like I said, but for right now, I'm sharing some free game with you. Okay. Um, but I don't want to bore you. This is some of the information, some of the moves that happened this week on USDJPY. If you're a beginner trader, this is a great pair to look at because it keeps market structure and it's easy to focus on and it's easy to keep track of because, you know, you want to keep track of the move, the, the market and see what's going on to be able to take full advantage of what's going on on these moves. Okay. So I want to thank you guys for spending some time listening to the breakdown of uh, Entry Thursday. And again, so I was a little bit late because my COVID scare. But aside from that, everything is good. And I will see you guys on Tuesday with another episode of Entry Tuesdays. So peace out.